Hello everyone, as you can see here is the Lenovo laptop. We're going to first look into the model. This is called IdeaPad S340. That's the one. Okay, so S340-15 API. Okay, uh, this one is quite latest, comes with AMD Ryzen 3 processor and AMD Radeon Vega graphics. Okay, it looks pretty cool and you know plastic but matte finishing in there quite solid keyboard and that is quite cool as you can see the webcam with the shutter on it you know decent phone but the problem is recently the water went through this uh, keyboard as you can see this is quite sticky right all right so now we don't have any choice because of there was kind of hot drinks uh, peel into it somehow fell over and then become so greasy and sticky so we're gonna replace it as you can see there is no any border there is no any border so this one built in we already got the replacement from online and show you okay so that is the actual replacement pretty hard job as you can see there is no frame so this one uh, we need to pull out the old one and put the new one in include the backlight okay so I'm gonna start it I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, you need a couple of tools first the Phillips screwdriver which one in here then obviously the flat tool and uh, tweezer plus also I do have a uh, soldering gun here if I need to melt something you know because there are a lot of rabbits that put the plastic on normally in macbook here 2014 sorry 2013 14 15 and macbook pro uh, with the mostly the macbook here they put like kind of metallic rabbits on it but this one they put plastic so we're going to check into it what kind of rabbits they use uh, due to placing hold the keyboard okay so now Put it upside down take out all the screws sorry this one doesn't take Phillips screw it takes pantalope I'm going to show you which one it is one second that's fine hopefully that's the one yep so that's the star uh, screwdriver it takes so I'm going to take it out first from the right hinge one keep it organized you never know might be internal size and not same quite cool oh, some screws missing might be somebody tried to open up and forgot later on anyway I hate um, any idea pad from Lenovo I like only the Lenovo uh, ThinkPad and rest of the models now idea idea pad never because most of the cases recently I received from Lenovo was the power issue board failure okay. I personally don't like them I told you, you need the tweezer sometimes as you can see this is not coming out fucking one is not coming that's fine let me check what happened to it yeah okay what very small as I told you okay. all, right. all right so now open it up take it back to start to sputter it can you see the gap from there Why 
as you can see the black paint already came off leave it on the side okay. now close it back so you must need to remove every single component that you can see in here okay so I always give priority if you could keep it separate from the hinges so then we can work out only with this part right it does make sense okay so first open it up in halfway take your Phillips screwdriver one I'm going to show you why. Two. Three. Four. Now yeah, that's good. Keep this one, the silver one, for the hinges separate in here so that's organized now I'm going to pull out this display connector which is right here okay Close this out with this stack good now this is a Wi-Fi card Keep this one next to it so we do remember what it is and take this out that's all now easily you can lift it down hopefully let's check yeah good all right we're gonna put it in separate place there the battery that's what we're supposed to do at the beginning this is the one good so take this out which is secured with one two three three screws I believe so there are three screws one now the secondary bolt is connected like this keep it with the mother bolt let's connect the fan fine and take out the hard drive everything you need to take it out so one by one you know remove everything is the speaker good interesting this is just a caddy good Disconnect the trackpad connector and finally the keyboard and keep this one with it. Okay. Take out the motherboard by removing few screws. One, two, three. Hopefully there is no more screw but let's double check it all right so these are from the motherboard I'm gonna keep it right here in the middle disconnect the fan first because this is attached to the heat sink without removing you can't pull out the motherboard good 
good. Okay. Now the actual charging connector. And then we are free to take it out. Good. Right. Okay. So now, if you look at it, you can see this is the one. This one comes just from right behind, from here. And if we, oh, we can do one thing because I don't see. I don't see there is any rabbit so what I can do maybe I don't need to take this out I can just pull out the actual metal frame where this plastic is attached okay so take out this screw first come on good fine now all right, so if we focus, I'm going to show you there's a lot of plastic rabbits in here. We must need to, either you can melt, you can cut, just to pull this, before you pull this out, okay? And now, what is next? I always prefer to use my, this one, okay? Or sometimes I can see some people use that one. Or you can use this blade, one of them. Okay, how people use the blade? They cut it like this you know yeah which is quite hard as you can see I'm struggling now you can lift it up like this you know? and keep this one because we're gonna reseal it later on gonna take a while so I'm gonna pause the video until I remove all of them and then video would not be that longer all right and before I do that I'm gonna show you how to remove with this one turn on your soldering hot gun let it on this is much more quicker This is more hard, I feel. Let's see how hot it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, this is much more easier to lift it out. As you can see, this part is fine. Now, some of them from here. Good. Yes, yeah, seems all of them cutting easily. Right. 
So let's check it out if we can pull it. Yeah, some of them come off easily, some of them doesn't. Yeah, most of them come off easily. Okay, so this side it doesn't. So I need to apply the same procedure. Check if there's any screw or anything that really. So this is the actual metal part, which is also removed now. Can you see? These are the sticky marks, sugary. I believe that was coffee or tea, might be. Okay, but we can, can you hear the sound? It's very sticky, very very sticky. So now it's very simple. We can. Some of them still left, but we don't need to worry because we are changing it. Let's check. Very careful, don't burn your finger on hand or skin. So finally this one came out. Okay. Let's turn it off for safety reasons. Okay. That is actually the keyboard. Hopefully it has the same model. That's what it shows anyway. can see quite similar but this one with battery the other one doesn't this is quite impressive okay. check all right so as you can see but one thing I don't know if you do realize or not still this keyboard inside is not come out pop out that much like the other one 
it would happen once we put the metal back lid you know so i just want to give it a clean we never know if there is any dust or any kinds of bits and bits and pieces are left so also we need to be careful if there is anything like kind of you know like sugary sticky things it would make a problem but double check okay now we can put it back to peel out this double-sided one, double-sided tape, good, and what you can do, can you see there is a white pattern, good, That is absolutely fine now. This is the metal frame. Right, so it seems this is on place now we don't need to worry because we're gonna put the motherboard in here uh, so once the motherboard sits in here then everything will be uh, back to normal all right so now just need to take this out and make sure there is none of them get blocked with the plastic uh, film protector and okay. also before we do one second so we can see there are a lot of uh, leftover things double check yeah that's good. it seems it's okay gonna be fine All right. I'm gonna block some holes so then it would not pop out
no one. That's fine. As you can see, this is in two place. So I'm happy with the back plate. Now the motherboard goes back in. everything into the place screws right here absolutely fine now the secondary bolt step one include the power Good. Good. Now the battery. Thank you. 
So now those are from the main boat, I believe. You want to buy box? Silver box. Right, so it seems everything into the place. Now we check. Fine. There are three screws for batteries. Let me put it back. One. Two. Charging port flex. 
connected everything seems into the place still there are some other components left I'm gonna show you which one it is that is fine All right so now we have the screen panel I need to bring it back and put it there good Caddy goes behind that is the actual string seems everything into the place we don't need to worry about this now place it like that good Now two to four hinge screw, which is most important. Now you could have question, might be, why I put this two instead of that one? Because there are little cross sign. So if you see any cross sign, you must need to avoid. If there is any error sign, you must need to put it there. Same thing we're going to do in here. Good. Well, 
so it seems everything into the place. Now, let's open it up and test it. How everything does work. Fully put the back lid on. Power is coming on. What? Trackpad is working. Let's go to the search bar and check. BBCC, all of them coming. If you double check, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Seems it's fine. Caps lock is coming on. caps lock light is on so it seems everything is fine so now we're going to put the back cover on and then everything will be back to normal press and hold the power button for a second good that's fine absolutely fine this is the actual back cover nothing else to connect Put it into the place. All right, so that's fine. All right. Big one always fast. Never forget to put the hinge screw because this one take the most energy to open and close you know This is the last one and go back to normal. Let's open it up and check one more time. If you can see nice keyboard. Power is coming on. Let's go and take something new. Text enter button is working. A a brown fox jump skew quickly over the 
lazy dog as you can see here all of them came one number lock one two three four five six seven eight nine zero enter is working so we could say this idea pet S340 keyboard replacement already done. If you do have any question, please don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you do subscribe, that would really help me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.